Good morning, everybody. There comes a time when you got to move forward and upgrade in a software, even though you kind of carry some of the great values of some of the old parts. And I've kind of just done that. I have just upgraded to 7.1 on SketchUp. I have a pro version. Why it makes it easy for me to do this when I have a pro version of someone else is I, the pro version gives me the ability to import from AutoCAD. Um, those of you who do not have a pro version, a student pro version is $49 for a year. A pro version is $500. It's a bit steep when you're a student. But the pro version has all these importers and exporters. So um, I'm going to tell you why I made the leap here. Um, and the reason I made the leap is I made a cost-benefit analysis of the ability to pull in some things from AutoCAD versus the ability to really deal with the latest programming language improvements in Ruby. And I've got a bunch of different machines running a bunch of different versions of SketchUp on Windows and on Apple. Uh, and for this one plugin, the Ruby code editor, for this one plugin, I'm making this leap of not being able to immediately pull in from AutoCAD. Now, I want to point out that you can make this leap, and there's a number of other reasons to make this leap to SketchUp 7.1, um, mostly because it's much faster. So SketchUp 7.1 along with Sketchy Physics 3.x, I think it's called, the experimental version, really gets you a lot of improvements. But this Ruby code editor, which we'll find and look at the download in a second here, it has, it's just so well laid out, really thoughtful in fact that it takes you to a bunch of different resources and these are all the same resources that I've discovered over time it takes you to Ruby resources had a problem with that it takes you to the API Google resource for API documentation for SketchUp it takes you to one here which I have never done on it but it's uh, it's kind of these basic places you can go but then you can click right back to your code and when you're done on the bottom here, you can hit a button and execute the code. So if you notice here, it gave me the name of the SketchUp uh, of the model I've got here. So um, this code editor is the single most important reason to switch to 7.1 that I have found, though there's a lot of other great reasons. And so let's look at what this code editor, um, where it comes from. And it's a guy named... AS basically and we're gonna look for his name there's an about there he is there it is Alex Schrarer and the web console code originally came from a guy named Jim Foltz so um, but this has got some great improvements to it so we're gonna visit my web page and leave a comment does it let me do that I don't think it lets me do that oh there it is and now I'm out to this guy's web page and we'll make a comment here. I'll make it for the, this is a gentleman that's got some incredibly great stuff out here. And so we want to let him know that. And eventually we'll give him a little money. This is great. To the Ruby, mix the lookups to the Ruby and API. So easy. And we're going to submit the comment. Oh, there it is. My name is Mark Pack, and I'm going to subscript. Oh, email. I'm not going to give him my email. Why not? All right, so we've subscribed to this guy and let him know what a great thing he's got. And the reason why we got out there is, of course, we went through this Ruby editor. So mostly you're going to see that this Ruby editor is going to be great for this reason. 
It's going to be able to pull you to look at all kinds of different things, but it takes you back to the code here. Uh, and so this single, this single improvement here is worthwhile sketching up, sketching up to 7.1. And of course, the problem when you import now, however, you don't have an option for drawing files. So you've got to figure out, keep around, find out a way for yourself to um, have a, access to an import from AutoCAD. Many of you, you'll see um, that, can, that will be available on campus at some spot, and there'll be others around, and there's probably someone who's already written a, a converter already, I would guess. But at $49, again, it's not money you want to spend right now, but it's something you might want to get just before you leave college. So you've got a pro version to use for a year. Um, as a student version, the pro version is if you're going to be spending money, and I would really promote it to your employers to spend $500 for a pro version. This software is worth it. Most CCU can tie into all the rubies that are out there. So how does that look? Well, let me just show you. I've got one piece of code out there. I'm just going to put in three lines here. I'm going to draft some three lines. Uh, I'm going to say L. And I'm going to go one, two, three lines, space bar here. I go to my plugins, and I can go to a Ruby code editor. And I had some files out there. And one of them I had here was an entity transform. And this is the addition to the code. It may look complex for you, but I'll explain this code. We'll see what it does, and then we'll move on. Basically, when you open up this code editor, it'll bring you these three lines at the start. I've then defined a view. I've given it a little message that tells me how many entities are in this model. I found I'm doing something called a loop, a recursion of 100 times. I give it a location of a point and something that's incredibly important. It's a geometric transformation of two types. One is going to be a transformation that's a translation. Another one is a scale. In the middle of that, I define a 3D point, and then I actually transform three entities, the three lines I've drawn, and then I refresh the view. I do that 100 times. There's all kinds of better ways to code this, but that's an example of how much code it takes to do this. And the beauty of this program, then, is I'm going to go to here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and you're going to see what happens now to these It's, you're not showing me. Unfortunately, you can't see it. It's a bummer. Here we go. It actually, wow, interesting. It actually did a whole bunch of stuff. And we're going to try it again. File, new. No. Now we're going to take and do one, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and see what happens. I'm going to hit the button here. Unfortunately, it goes right on top, which is not good. But you'll get the point. So right underneath, as we speak right now, it has been moving and editing and changing around everything I've got there. And so when I go to here and hit Zoom Extents, it actually took that thing and I made it larger and translated into all kinds of stuff. So that's an unfortunate thing that it pops back on top, but we'll look at uh, how to move that around later. All right, thanks for listening. Once again, let's show you where to get it. Do a search out here on Alexander, S-C-H-R-E-Y-E-R. -E -E this is called SketchUp Ruby Code Editor, and you want to bring it and do the install, which means you're going to put it into your plugins directory. We'll work on that end of this later. This is some pretty, pretty powerful stuff and well worth the upgrade to 7.1. Hope you're having a great summer. Thanks for listening and look for more Ruby Cobing snippets as we look at animating what we've started doing on the side in our AutoCAD classes.